All right, guys. So the reaction belt, okay, what we'll do here is we'll take a, our, our bigger athlete and force him to concentrate to work on the quickness of the smaller athlete. With the reaction belt, if you don't keep your good distance from the athlete mirroring him, he'll snap apart, you'll lose the battle, okay? So we'll take our agility cones, uh, put them about 15 feet apart, ask the athletes to stay inside of them laterally. Um, once again, the bigger guy will mirror the smaller guy. Here we go. Okay, guys, so right now what we'll do is we'll put on the seven-foot reaction belt for the athletes, okay? With the four-foot reaction belt, we like the athletes to move laterally, side to side. We put the seven-foot reaction belt on the athletes. They'll go side to side and forward and backwards. We'll build a four-cone station, okay, using this, uh, the skills agility cones, force the athletes to stay inside, using a good defensive stance and a good position. Let's just go ahead and go. So what we have here right now is, once again, the athletes pulling the, re the reaction belt, okay? The four-foot reaction belt. The athletes here will stay inside the perimeter, okay? Uh, once again, the defensive player will be forced to, still, to deal with the uh, smaller, quicker player, okay? Stay inside the perimeter, very similar to the game situation, okay? Good, there it goes. Good, good, good. Good, good defense, good defense, good defense, good defense. Uh, go! Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Good. Move your feet, move your feet, move your feet, move your feet, move your feet. Good. Stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low. Ah.